Welcome back, Captains. This guy right here is gonna teach you how to keep a boat clean. So while you're watching this video, more than likely at lunch or having a snack, take some tips from him. Now, one of my biggest pet peeves when I'm out here at the boat ramp is seeing infants when they don't have life jackets on. It's one of the most dangerous things that you could do. Getting on and off the boat is usually when you're gonna fall off. But hey, it ain't my kid, it's yours. Well, they come in for a nice approach right here and take it easy, let's take a watch. Now she does the old tow trick to keep the boat away and then decides I better use my hands. Now he's gonna flip them inflatable little black things out right over there and stick that right up against the dock. Those will work if the tide was a little bit higher. Well, he gets the second one flipped over there, and I guess you can say here it's better to have them and not need them and need them and not have them. She stands by, the infant's safe and sound, thankfully there. Just get you an infant life jacket. I put a link in the description. On to the next one. If you ever wanted to break the sound barrier in a boat, this might be the way to do it. This little skinny boat like that, drafting that much water, and that engine on the back, man, that thing must haul some butt. By now, you must know my love for jet skiers. They're about the most annoying thing out here on the water. And as you can see here, this captain's going back in and gives just that little subtle hint that you need to get them skis out the way. And by subtle hint, I mean backing right into them. Well, she moves them over to the other side right there and blocks this guy from coming in. Can't win either way. The New Smyrna Fire Department's up there on the rail watching this go down, and this wife comes down and gives him a laugh. He's got it all sideways and crooked. And I think the conversation went like this. Well, you think you can do it better? Get your butt out here on the boat. Show them firefighters what's up. You see some of the weirdest things when you're at the boat ramp. Take a look at the black boat in the background there. I swear this guy was a spider in a past life. And an anchor line is a good choice when you're weaving a web. Everything this guy does is more energy than needed. It makes me tired just filming it. Thankfully he didn't have his ratchet on this thing right here, but man, he's gonna look like a fiddler crab when he gets done winching this thing on. Well, there he goes with that line again. Now my money's on it that that line flew out the back of the boat on their way home. Well, bow riding's one of the things I don't let my kids do. But if you're an adult, I guess you can do what you want. In a V-hold, the boat might push you away. If you fall overboard in front of a pontoon boat, it's got a channel that's gonna take you right back to the motors. It ain't gonna end well. Speaking of pontoon boats and not ending well, here we go. Enjoy.
Well, with a little redemption, she gets it lined up on the bunks there and gets it on the trailer. It ain't over yet. No matter what you're doing, if it's been a while, you gotta take it slow. Don't just go in there and ram it in on the trailer. On the opposite spectrum, the helicopter parents here yank this kid down so he can't reach up there and touch underneath the bridge. Now, I do have a series that's coming out about cute dogs on boats, because down here at the boat ramp, you see a lot of this. And this golden retriever here is just sweet. Look at him. Now, this boat coming in here is about the same kind of boat that I learned on here. I had a 9.5 horsepower Evan Root on there, tore up some shear pins all the time. I call this one gas and go. Everything looks the same as the last approach here, but I don't know. He quickly finds neutral. And there's reverse. For the viewers out there that don't have to sit through the 15 minutes of them trying to dock this boat here, you guys get the short version. And she's just looking at it like, oh, that's a cute bird. He gives it one last good thrust right there and then grabs a hold of this pole. Everybody hang on. Bam. There you go. Welcome to Credit Card Captain. That's one of them rentals. Now I always say you got to graduate from single to twin. And this guy I thought was doing real well, but then all of a sudden he got spooked. Slaps it in reverse right there. Well, I kept an eye on this one here. It looks like he was getting himself in a situation over there with those jet skiers getting close to him. He finally puts it in forward there and gets moving. Look, he's got something on the pole. He's got something. He's got a bite. Nah, he just left that four ounce weight just dangling there. Well, the captains always seem to redeem themselves after the first mess up here. No, nope, not this one. Motor's down. Well, I hope you had an enjoyable time out here on the water with me on Credit Card Captain. Thanks for watching, liking, and subscribing. I'll see you again soon.